And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee from BLS, right here on Channel 67's Open. This was created to promote, promote physical activity within the community. We're talking about the fifth annual Hunts Point Hustle. It brings the community together through fitness. Joining us now to share more is Sustainable South Bronx Active Living Coordinator, Milka Rodriguez. See, I said it. <laughs> and thank you for joining us, okay? Thank you. For tell us about me. this wonderful, well, first tell us about SSBX. Okay, well, SSBX stands for Sustainable South Bronx. Mm -hmm. And Sustainable South Bronx is a community based organi nonprofit organization mm -hmm. that is focused on environmental solutions for the South Bronx. Uh -huh. And these being, we, we have three main um, areas that we focus on, and these are uh, greening, community greening initiatives, our green job training program, as well uh -huh. as education initiatives for the community. The green job training programs, would you go around and just teach people how to create these green jobs or get involved in the green jobs? Well, we I have, know they have one the, the, that I know of. The, uh, they put sod on the top of, on the rooftops and everything, mm -hmm. and they have gardens and green grass up there mm -hmm. and everything like that. Well, our green job training program is called the Bronx Environmental Stewardship Training Program, mm -hmm. and we we always shorten it and just call it the best program. The best. The best program. Yeah. And um, pretty much what what it focuses on it's focusing on getting people who are normally not employable in in the market, you know, and teach get, teaching them um, greening skills and providing for them certification so that they are able to be employed in the oh. future in the green field. So they go through a, you know, it's about 17 weeks hand-on yeah, training. Yeah, that's and then afterwards, yeah. um, it's totally free to the public as long as you qualify. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, afterwards, when once they're done with the program and they pass the test at the end, yeah. um, you know, they help them obtain jobs in that's, the green field. That's wonderful. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, how do they qualify? Well, to qualify, you must have a high school diploma or a GED. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a criminal record because you, we're trying to better the lives right. of people. Right. So that should not be an obstacle. Right. And um, those are like the main qualifications. Yeah, because a lot of people say, you know, I mean, visiting the prisons, they say, oh, well, you know, we can't get a job out there because we have yeah. a felony. But there are jobs that they can get. Yeah. 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 And that's one of them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So what are the main goals of your organization? Like I said, our main goals are, you know, are pretty much trying to get our three main sectors, okay. uh, which is education, community greeting initiatives, as well as the uh, green job training program. So our main goal is to get um, this, you know, information out to the public and letting the people in, in the South Bronx know that there are opportunities open to them mm -hmm. to better their environment and moreover their lives and the lives of their family right. and that they don't need to move out of their community to live a good life. Mm. They can stay in their community and help build the community. So in yeah. order to be, a, you know, live in a good neighborhood, you don't have to leave your community. You right. can stay and build your community. And so. what are some of the ways that you're getting the message across? Um, well, our, one of the ways is our green job training program. When people see the success rate, which is about eighty percent graduation mm. rates and employment rates, wow. when you know that that you know that that intrigues mm -hmm. people and it, it lures people in, they see that this does work. It is effective and it has changed the lives of these you know you know these people with who used to have criminal records. A lot of them be, end up you know being employed in managerial positions, you know, mm -hmm. as time goes by. So that's what, one of the ways we do it. Yeah. Another way we do it is through our Hunts Point Hustle 5K Run Walk. Uh -oh. It's our biggest event of the year, and it's our premier event. And it's pretty much a 5K running event, and we also have a 100-yard dash for the kids. Yeah. And it's, it's a way to promote the local parks, you know, the organization's mm -hmm. mission, as well as the Greenway that started being built last year in 2010. Where's the Greenway being built? It's being built uh, by the waterfront, mm -hmm. and it's a way to connect all the different parks in the South Bronx so that people can find their way through mm -hmm. the parks. Because a lot of there are parks that exist, but some people don't really know where they are or that they actually exist. So this is a way to bring more attention to the parks. Yeah. So in the 5K hustle, walk, run, you could either run, you can walk, or you yeah. can do the hustle through the park. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. If you want to do the hustle the whole time, yeah. Hey, throw that hustle piece back on put again. On. Yeah, yeah, put that back on. Wow. <laughs> no, no, because you, you listen to this kind of music and you can do the hustle through the park. Yeah. You know, you can... Do the yeah. hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and what day does this take place? It's going to be held this Saturday, May 21st. At, right. It will start at 9 a.m. And so, you know, I really hope to see a lot of people there. Uh -huh. There's going to be a lot of good things there, and it's going to be a very positive thing for the community. Yes. It's only $5 for South Bronx residents, and for $5, you're getting a lot in return. Each person who actually mm -hmm. registers and participates is going to get um, free admission ticket to the Bronx Zoo, oh, to the okay. Brooklyn Botanical Gardens, as well as, you know, there's going to be many raffles of, uh, from different organizations such as Foot Locker, yeah. Patagonia, Timex, New York Aquarium, Queens, Queens Botanical yeah. Gardens, and there's a lot more. And we're sure, we're pretty much sure that when you get your ticket to the Bronx Zoo that that snake will be there and the peacock will be there. Yeah, hopefully yeah. they'll be there. <laughs> They're roaming Morrisina Parkway. <laughs> now somebody could have picked that bird up and just I'm said, you know, I'm going to cook this bad day. bird. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's yeah. wonderful. So May 21st. May 21st, mm -hmm. this Saturday. This Saturday. Yep. That location again is? It's in Hunts Point Riverside Park. Mm -hmm. And they should be there um, 9 a.m. or even before that. Well, the race starts at 9 a.m., so they should be there at, mm -hmm. you know, at 8 a.m. to register. Yes. You can still register the day of the race. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to be, like I said, you're getting a lot in return for only... Yeah, because they got the 100-yard dash for children. They get mm -hmm. the goodie bags with free admission tickets to the Botanical Garden. Uh, you got the Brooklyn Botanical Garden, Bronx Zoo, and free T-shirts and all of that yeah, stuff. Free yeah, free T-shirts. There's also going to be massage therapy uh -huh. and group exercises for people who, who need to relax before and afterwards. So there's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of you know, nice things that people aren't used to seeing in their community. Uh -huh. And you got trophies for three female and three male winners in each category, each age category. Prizes from Timex, Patagonia, Patagonia, yeah, Foot Locker, Sam's Club, BJ's, and the Queens Botanical Garden also. Yeah, and there's wow. a lot more. Those are just some of the few that, yeah. you know, we've listed. Oh, we can name a whole page of things. So they're going to get a lot of good stuff, right? Yeah. What about food? Well, there's going to be um, snacks and there's going to be drinks for the race. Um, we're not going to, it's not, it's a, it's a running event. So yeah. usually w when people are done running, what they need is to replenish their body, yeah. not to go and have a five course meal. Oh, sure. So I they're going to gonna have, you know, some arroz at, pollo gonna, and all that stuff, no. you know, or some Italian food. This is promoting fitness and promoting health. Can you send health. us to Arthur Avenue? No. No, i kidding. Yes, I know. So, you need something to replenish. Yeah, so yeah. it's going to be, you know, the typical apples, mm -hmm. oranges, bananas that are usually given out at a running event. Mm -hmm. And there's also going to be, you know, um, sports drinks and such for people to replenish themselves and water. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. All right, where can people sign up uh, for the race and get more information on this? To sign up, they can go directly to our website. It's www.ssbx.org. Uh -huh. um, and they can definitely register on there. Um, they can also come to directly to our location, which is located on 1231 Lafayette uh -huh. on the fourth floor here in the South Bronx. Mm -hmm. And um, they can ask for me, and I'll definitely be able to provide them with registrations that they can fill out. Milka Rodriguez, Active Living Coordinator, SSBX. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank okay. you for having me. Come back again, okay? Okay. All right. Sign up for the 5th Annual Hunts Point Hustle. Visit www.ssbx.org.